Hey, is it possible scientists really found a frozen dinosaur forearm in a melting glacier? Or is this just some kind of Disney movie fantasy? I've got the answer to that archaeological mystery, plus answers on some other very curious items that you guys sent in. Like this picture that claims 50,000 computer printers were hacked to help PewDiePie get more subscribers, and a picture that wants us to believe this giant squirrel is real. I've got all that, plus some new fan art, and my favorite fake of the week. So what I want you to do is just lean back and watch the whole enchilada. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, I get a lot of strange pictures in my email box each and every day from you guys, but I gotta tell you, this one freaked me out. It was sent in by Prasanth Gangula and shows what is claimed to be the forearm of a real dinosaur called a trohodon. Guys, every time we get one of these dinosaur discovery photos or videos in, they always turn out to be fake. But I think this one's a little bit different because, you know, this one's kind of tied in with this whole global warming, melting glacier kind of thing. And let's face it, we are seeing things on this planet these days we have never seen before, like uh, how about Miami Beach being flooded for no reason at all? I think all that makes this one worth a little deeper look, don't you? A closer look at the picture doesn't show any obvious signs of being a fake. The skin texture and claws all look very authentic. There is a little piece of paper with some information on it, but no matter how much I zoom in on it, I can't pick up any information. I looked up some pictures of Troodons to see what their forearms look like, and well, it does look like a pretty good match. So what do you guys think? Do you think global warming and melting glaciers have delivered us a well-preserved dinosaur artifact? Or is somebody just trying to pull the proverbial dinosaur wool over our eyes. Tell you what, when I say go, what I want you to do is go up here and vote, or if you don't want to do that, you can just leave your answer as a comment down here, or you can just yell it out if you're in a group or your friends or whatever. You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to vote, I've got a few updates for you on our growing list of animals that use electricity as a weapon. So far, we have the stargazer fish, the electric eel, and the electric ray. Now, here are the latest suggestions to add on to our list. Uh, Kaysen Maddox said goblin sharks. Now, Kaysen, you know, goblin sharks do use electricity, but what they're doing is they're picking up the electrical impulses from their prey so they know where they are. So, in other words, it's not being used as a weapon. Now, Grant Vlog TV said police use tasers sometimes. Grant. <laughs> Uh, Tage Rodriguez said anglerfish. Now, Tage, I can see why you might be a little bit confused because there's a lot of species of anglerfish. You know, they live way down where it's dark and they use bioluminescence. In other words, it can kind of glow in the dark. But A, it's not electricity they use to make that glow. And B, they don't use it as a weapon. Now, a whole bunch of you guys, including Jonah Treyas and Julian Bangayan, said electric catfish. When I first saw a picture for an electric catfish, I was like, hey, that's an electric eel. But guess what? Electric eels only live in South America. Electric catfish live in Africa and can produce 350 volts of electricity to shock their prey. So now we have four members of the Electric Weapon Club. The Stargazer, the Electric Eel, the Electric Ray, and the Electric Catfish. If you know of any more, just leave me a note in the comment section, okay? Just be aware that stingrays don't use electricity as a weapon, and characters from Pokemon do not count. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, what do you say we get back to this? The official answer on that dinosaur forearm, claw, hand, whatever you want to call it. I have a really, I, you know, I'm like this. That would be an amazing, an amazing discovery. Uh, the official answer, after explaining a lot of the research that was done, uh, says that this particular picture is true, but what it claims is, damn, fake. 
mistake. We now know the photograph was taken by Ryan Bauman and actually shows the preserved foot of a moa bird on display at the Natural History Museum of London. Moas, in case you're wondering, is a large flightless bird from New Zealand that went extinct about 600 years ago. It's not considered the descendant of any known dinosaur. Our next picture is kind of a strange one. It was a printout from a computer that asked the reader to help PewDiePie in his battle with T-Series for the most subscribers on YouTube. It was sent in by Josie the Half Cat who wrote, Bill, is it real that someone hacked printers around the world telling people to subscribe to PewDiePie? Well, Josie, all I can tell you is nothing like that happened at my house. But then again, my printer's broken. So I'll tell you what, go ahead and make your votes up here. Leave your comments down here or yell out your answer as loud as possible. And I will get out the old official answer here. And we're going to find out if PewDiePie has some hacker friends out there coming to his defense and his struggle against the T-Series who just might have the most subscribers in the world on YouTube by the time I even read it. So I don't even know. Uh, but guess what? Uh, this, is, this is amazing. It's real. According to the online website, The Verge, a hacker who is known on Twitter as the Hacker Giraffe was able to hack about 50,000 printers and print out the PewDiePie message without the permission of the people who own the printers. In an interview with The Verge, the Hacker Giraffe said there are over 800,000 printers vulnerable to hacks out there, but he only used 50,000 as a way to warn people they were vulnerable to this hack. Okay, but if that's the case, why didn't he just say that instead of sending out this message for everybody to subscribe to PewDiePie? I think that's worthy of a whole new investigation, but some other time. Our last picture today is yet another giant squirrel picture. And I say another because as many of you already know, we just had one incoming message. Uh-oh, I guess we're gonna have to put that squirrel picture off for just a few seconds because we've got incoming from the stat zone. In this week's Stat Zone Quiz, we're taking a look at another Statista statistic, and this one is about kids in social media. Are you ready? All right, let's go. What topics do teenagers post the most about on social media? A, personal problems, B, accomplishments, or C, family? Go ahead and leave your vote up here or leave me an answer down in the comment section. If you wish, or yell it out, and in the meantime, I'm going to be getting out the answer here and telling you what the most popular topic posted by teens across all social media. You know, we're talking Snapchat, we're talking Instagram, we're talking Twitter, we're even talking that old uh, warship. What, what was the name of that one? Oh, yeah, Facebook. Let's see what we got. And the answer is B accomplishments. Here's the graph which shows that accomplishments came in first with 49%, family came in second with 44%, and personal problems came in at fifth place with just 13%. If you want to see the actual posting on Statista, I'm going to be leaving a link for it down in the description box. Now, about this giant squirrel picture. It was sent in by Jordan and his mom, Emily, who both watch the show. Emily wrote, we came across a picture online and we're wondering if it is real or fake. Well, guys, I had to laugh when I first saw this one because, I mean, look at that squirrel. When I zoom in on it, it looks like some kind of cartoon character out of a Pixar movie. But hey, what do I know, huh? Just go ahead and make your votes up here. Leave your comments down here. Yell it out. I'll get out the official answer. And as soon as you guys are done, I'm going to give you the answer. And I got it right here. I hope you're done, because that was kind of quick. But anyway, if you want to know whether that picture of a squirrel is real or some kind of, or shopped, as they say in the business, it is real. According to the Charlotte Observer newspaper in North Carolina, this real picture of a giant fox squirrel was captured by state biologists participating in the Candid Critters program. 
Fox squirrels are the largest native species of squirrels in North America and can grow up to 70 centimeters or about 27.6 inches long. They can weigh up to one kilo or just over two pounds. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I would not do that because I still gotta show you my favorite fake of the week, which is some people's favorite part of the show. I'm gonna be getting to that in just a second, but first I wanna give a real quick shout out to Noob Z Fuse for this week's fan art. In case you haven't guessed, this is me getting scared by the Tennessee ghost dog from last week's video. Thanks, Noob. I hope people will now go to your channel and subscribe to you to see all your great work. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is going to do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now, from my favorite fake of the week, this one comes to us from an Instagram account called the Knowledge Factory. In this post, they claim NASA found a large spoon on Mars and claimed it was proof of intelligent life on that planet. Now, come on, Knowledge Factory, we all know that's not true. Martians are well known for using only chopsticks. I mean, how fake can you get? Jeez. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us in 1386, a pig in France was executed by public hanging for the murder of a child. Oh wait, that's true? It is, it is true. 